Hello, hello. This is Tanya with Joy Community and I am checking in for day four of my own 21 day routine challenge in which I created a schedule for myself that would maximize um, getting the things that I really am passionate about getting completed done. And it is, uh, it, the first week it's the fourth day and yesterday was a tough day but today is much much better I got a good night's sleep I feel great and I'm really excited so what I wanted to do today was just really quickly talk a little bit about my two things my why why I was doing this and to uh, wh how what my morning looks like so what healthy morning routine have I implemented and am following and feeling really good about so the reason that I did this is because that, uh, like I just said it's about getting things accomplished I have my joy community project I also have a book that I'm trying to finish both of these things are very important to me and I want to get them accomplished. And with my lack of focus and motivation that I was experiencing, I said, okay, this has to change. So let's fix it. And uh, built in a schedule where I have as much time as possible around my work and my personal stuff to work on Joy Community and work on the book. So that was my biggest why. And also because I was really just with this whole coronavirus thing and being, you know, housebound and stuff like that, even though I work from home and this is not that different for me, there are those just that general sense of feeling like you can't do what you're used to doing. You can't just go out and do things. So it just felt weird and I was feeling out of focus and lack of motivation and working a little bit less, you know, as to be expected and so forth. So I just needed it. And that's my why. Um, my morning routine that I want to share with you is that I basically said, okay, you need, like, what's important to me? That was a really a key part of this process was to figure out what is the most important things to me and that is exercise because I need to um, be physically stronger than I am I've ha um, had been rehabbing my hip for um, several months now and so I am slowly rebuilding my strength so that I can have good workouts I had just joined the gym right before everything started to shut down so I had to um, make some uh, adjustments and do some things at home so fitness was there also just a nice morning routine of you know making sure that I have a good breakfast and some coffee or tea or both and um, put myself together and feel ready for the day um, I also have been doing this for a while now, probably, I want to say over a month, um, maybe even six weeks, I have been taking cold showers. And I know a lot of you might think, oh my gosh, I have so, so many of my friends just look at me like I'm totally crazy. But there are, you know, some uh, discussions around the fact that this concept is really good for your body it's really good for your immune system it kind of jolts your body into um, a, a bit of a defense mode of like oh wow we're cold we have to wake up and take you know make sure that we stay warm you know because that's what our body is meant to do and so uh, it's supposed to be really good for you and honestly I'm starting to enjoy them now granted I do am currently living in Florida and it's significantly warmer than probably places uh, most other places but uh, still, it's it's a little jolt to the system. So, so that's my my important morning stuff. So uh, I also wanted to add something new, which I've been told by so many people that I should do, and have never really committed a hundred percent to it. And that was to meditate. And I had been doing my own variations of that for a while, but I thought, well, let's let's just you know do you know actually set aside some time and I followed Jay Shetty and he started with this coronavirus thing he started doing live meditations he wanted to do 20 days of live meditations with people from all over the world and um, he actually does it at the same time as my team meeting so I wasn't able to join at the exact live time but they're all on Facebook and so I just go and uh, watch the previous day's meditation and it's a guided meditation and I just put in my headphones and, uh, and I'm enjoying that. So what I ended up doing was just making that uh, fit into two hours. So between eight and 10 in the morning, uh, cause I work on a little bit of a later schedule. I don't have to be online super early thanks to um, the time difference between the office and me. 
and I tend to be a bit of more of a night owl, so I made it a little bit realistic for myself and said, okay, between eight and 10, this is what you're gonna do. So I roll out of bed, and the first thing I do is 20 minutes of exercise. Then I'm 20 minutes in the bathroom doing my cold shower and putting myself together. And then I have um, 20 minutes set aside for meditation. So now we're up to an hour, right? And then I spend about um, a half an hour or so, 30, I think I scheduled 30 to 40 minutes for, um, putting, you know, making coffee, putting my breakfast together, um, relaxing, kind of just sitting outside, enjoying nature in the morning and um, putting my supplements together that I take and uh, all that. So then uh, after that's all done is uh, just a quick little update for social media making sure that I say hi to all of you and recording videos like this. <laughs> and then I put myself into my writer mode. So that's my morning uh, routine. And I just wanted to share that with you, give you an update on how things are going. And so far, so good. Day four is looking pretty sweet. Thanks for listening. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.